Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Open Jab Balls. So today we're gonna open another strike. Nope, it's not strike, but it's strike freedom. Today we're gonna open. Tada! Gundam Breaker Battle Lock. Gundam Perfect Strike Freedom. Yeah. All right, another high grade Gundam from this uh, Gundam Breaker Battle Lock. A very short anime series from Gundam. Yeah, it's, Gun- it's in Gundam Info, just go check it out guys. And honestly, when I watch the anime, I don't really have any good impression on this Perfect Strike Freedom. I thought it's gonna be just a normal Strike Freedom that put put in a Perfect Strike backpack on it straight. But after I seen some review from uh, people and yeah, I checked the kits properly, it's actually a bit different. It's not really uh, direct uh, mashup kits. So actually there is a lot thing going on on this Gundam uh, model kits. So let's check it out right now. Yeah. Hui. All right. So this is how the perfect strike freedom looks like. There are a lot of things going on. The backpack is very very huge and actually this Gundam could this Gunpla couldn't hold the backpack weight. So the only thing can support the <laughs> the whole thing is because uh this thing act as a stand the weapon here. Otherwise, the whole kids will fall down. See? <laughs> Alright, there are a lot of things going on on this kit as I mentioned earlier. So, let me take out the backpack first and we go take a look at the model kit itself. Alright, so here we have it. The Perfect Strike Freedom. So, let's take a closer look. Sorry for my backlight, it's very very strong. Alright, so front wheel, side wheel, another side wheel, and back wheel. So uh, as I mentioned in my previous video, I never have any uh, HG or 1 over 144 scale for strike series. But uh, I believe this head is a... Uh, wait, let me focus back. Alright, so I believe this head is uh, strike freedom itself. The body is a new mold, definitely. As for this uh, accessories on side shoulder, it's very similar to uh, Perfect Strike accessories, the launcher pack and the sword pack. But actually it's same same but different. So, yep. So overall, I think yeah, the mashup is quite nice. It won me over, that's why I bought this kit. Instead of a direct uh, kit bash. So let's take a look at the articulation. So the head is pretty standard, uh, any Gundam can look up, look down, rotation, no problem. As for the arm, the pack here is linked together with the shoulder. So there's no part separation for the shoulder and uh, joint here. But uh, I think it won't affect much. You can rotate the shoulder, but yeah, rotate too much, the whole thing will pop out. So there's a rotation on this. Sword pack, swivel, can raise up. So the elbow double joint, and swivel on the wrist. Pretty standard. Oops, <laughs> there are a lot of parts that are very easy to came off. All right, let's take a look at the swivel on the waist. No problem. Skirt can come out. So the side here also can rotate a bit. As for the butt flap, you actually can rotate. Surprise, surprise. So due to that, your leg can kick up that much and kick back that much and the wee fin just drop. <laughs> Give me a moment. Alright, alright, all right, I'm back. So yeah, can kick kick back that much, kick up that much. So there's double joint on the knee. As for the foot, there's a pivot here so ball joint on the leg a bit up and down on the ankle yeah that much so yeah pretty much that's all the articulation for these kids i think uh it's not to say very fantastic should be a very uh usual high grade standard articulation the surprise me is the butt flap this one really surprised me so all right without wasting time uh let's take a look at the backpack let's put it at the back 
Ta -da, the backpack. I not sure what's what was this backpack gonna call. Perfect pack. I don't know. At first, I thought it's gonna be a direct copy of the Ail Strike pack uh, from Strike Gundam, but actually, it's not. And there are a lot of things going on on this pack itself. So, first, you will notice uh, there's a weapon storage on this both booster. So, let me take out the weapon. Alright, so let's take a look at the articulation of this uh, backpack. First, there's a rotation for this cannon. Can go up and down a little bit and can rotate of course so as for the wing there's a rotation here and you can go up and down but you can't go front and back so pretty much that's all as for the booster unit here there is no articulation on this whole unit itself but you can rotate it there's a ball joint here so you can rotate it to any position you want okay that's all of this booster Let's put it at the side. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, actually there are a lot of things going on on this kit itself beside the Gundam and the booster. So for, for an instant, there are a lot of weapons on this Gundam. So let's take a look at the first weapon on the Gundam itself. These are uh, swap pad accessories. There's articulation here, like I mentioned. So actually it can shoot out to grab something <laughs> so they actually include a wire here which I didn't take it out so just imagine it there's a wire here and actually you can shoot out to grab the enemy or whatever it's a grapple so let's put it back so as for this this uh, part actually it can generate a energy shield Oops. so as for this arm it can generate a energy beam uh, dagger sword I'm not sure but yeah it can be used as weapon as well so yeah uh, okay everything falls very easy so beside that if you remove it and rotate the whole thing this thing can generate a shoe beam as well shoe shoe beam shoe let's just call it shoe so there's one accessories for the shoe let's put it back yep there you go the shield beam here pretty good looking and next this hand if you rotate it you will notice it actually there's a bullet hole this uh some sort of a gun so if you rotate it and attach again ah uh, and the weaving draw again god Alright, and you can, yeah, shoot your enemy with this thing. Uh, I have to go find my wee fin. <laughs> oh no, you know what? My wee fin just break. Uh, guess I got, got to add into at least this model kit as much as I love it. But all the thing is too easy to fell off. The hand, the wee fin. Uh, Alright, I, <laughs> I'm gonna continue this review without the weaving on this side is already break i'm gonna glue it back later yeah let <sighs> <Damn> me <it. laughs> okay gonna demotivate a little bit but okay let's put back the kids all aside and let's take a look at the <clears throat> the other weapon there's uh the blue color sword here and also green color gun gun sword gun sword i think oops so let's attach it on strike and see how it looks like <laughs> all right so this is how it looks like with the weapon so this side is a gun and this side is a sword so there's one uh, accessories the effect parts here that can attach it at the sword so let's do it right now and i fell off again so let's attach it at this side my god suddenly i hate reviewing these kits everything so flimsy so easy to fail or is it from my own mistake something just fell off let me find back all right so this is how the effect parts looks like when i attach it on this sword so beside these two weapons actually these two weapons can combine together to become a bigger sword so let's do it now let me take it out first 
Alright, so a very simple combination, just attach it together and put one more effect parts here for the sword. So it looks so great, so cool and giant sword. Who don't love giant sword, right? And finally, this is how it looks like with everything attached on it and the big sword as well. Uh, I gotta say, I, I already demotivate to post this model kit because everything that there are a lot of parts that very very loose the upper part here, especially uh this kind this this part here, the hand here very easy to drop, even the hand very easy to pop off, the weaving you already seen my weaving drop multiple times in this review. Uh, everything is so messy and this this part as well very very loose, so. Yeah, I already uh, a little bit demotivated to post it nicer. So anyway, oh yeah, one more thing I forgot to mention. This red color part on the backpack is actually a funnel. So you can take it out, put it on the stand and it becomes funnel. It's pretty easy to pull off. Just like that. So this, this I think this is very similar to uh, Shred Freedom. Perf yeah, Strike Freedom, I think. I actually never watched Seed Destiny, so I'm not sure Strike Freedom power. So, alright, nevertheless, uh, as much as I love these kits, but there are way too many parts that are easy to drop, very, very hassle to pose it, and, uh, and I have to fix this within right now. <laughs> okay, nevertheless, I'm gonna see you guys in my next review. Bye-bye.